The Smash roster is one of my favorite parts of the entire Smash Bros series, with the inclusions of new fighters every installment. Never knowing who the next fighter is going to be, some fighters don't make it in, either being deconfirmed from me costumes, assist trophies, or other fighters from a third party company taking the spot. As well as a few other reasons, welcome to a new foes appeared, where we talk about ideas for fighters that could possibly happen in Smash 6, if not the future. I'm your host BB8 from BB8's house as always, let's get into it, up next. Hey there YouTube lovers, welcome back to A New Foe Has Appeared. I am aware that we are completely overdue from a new New Foe Has Appeared episode, but we're back now with another New Foe Has Appeared episode, and this one was supposed to be an episode to tie in with a review I have coming out later in the month. Because it is the only franchise in a genre of a franchise of games that I haven't even represented in a new foes appeared yet. And if you want to know who it is, take a look at this. That right, Fawful from the Mario and Luigi series is who we are going to talk about today. Given that the only Mario RPG series I've not represented in a new Foes appeared is Mario and Luigi, I thought I would finally do it, since I've already done Super Mario RPG with Gino, Paper Mario with Paper Mario himself and Vivian, and Mario plus Rabbids with Rabbid Peach. And who would I pick? as the Mario and Luigi rep. So I thought I would look into my favourite of the Mario and Luigi games, being Bowser's Inside Story, and I landed with Fawful. So, without further ado, let's get into it, shall we? For the move set, the neutral special, we have Energy Burst. A ball of energy is charged by Fawful and released forward. The orb gets more strong the longer you press the button. It can be fired sooner for a less powerful but faster rounds. For the side special, we have Dark Vacuum Helmet. With his Dark Helmet on, Fawful charges forth when he connects with an opponent. He launches them away after trapping them inside the helmet and draining their energy. The up special, we have Propeller Pack. Using a Propeller Pack, Fawful takes to the skies. As he ascends, he has some control over his direction and an enemy is damaged and knocked away if they are struck during the initial launch. The down special, we have Hypno Wave. Fawful releases a wave of hypnotic force in front of him. For a while, opponents struck by the wave will have reversed controls. And for the final smash, we have Fawfulized Fury. After changing into his Fawfulized form, Fawful hits the stage with a flurry of energy attacks. Those who are caught in the onslaught incur a great deal of harm and are knocked back a great deal. For the alts, in Smash Bros, Fawful would have a cell-shaded art style to stay true to the Mario and Luigi games. 
given that the upcoming brothership is to have a cell shaded art style on the characters, I think going cell shaded for Fawfall would make sense. So now for the alts themselves. The first alt we have is the default alt with a green robe and red glasses. The second alt would be inspired by Cacletta with purple robes and red glasses. The third alt would be a black robe with glowing eyes. The fourth alt would have green and white attire. The fifth alt would be Fawful's Fury with red robes and black glasses. The sixth alt would be Minion Master with blue robe and yellow glasses. The seventh alt would have a dark helmet and attire, and the eighth alt would be Superstar Saga to stay true to his original appearance in Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga. For the classic mode route, we have Bean Bean Conquest. Round one, we have Mario and Luigi. Round two, we have Bowser Jr. Round three, we have King DDD. Round four, we have Ganondorf. Round 5, we have Mewtwo. Round 6, we have Dark Samus. And the final round, we have Giga Bowser and Bowser Jr. For the Echo Fighter, I picked Midbus as an Echo Fighter for Bowser. I know I have already done an Echo Fighter for Bowser in a new, a new Foes Appeared for Dry Bones, being Dry Bowser, but I just think Midbus actually could work for Bowser because they have similar body types. So here are the differences that Midbus would have from Bowser. The neutral special would be Ice Breath. Instead of Bowser, Midbus breathes a steam of ice that can freeze opponents and creates slippery patches on the ground. The side special, we have Rage and Charge. Midbus rushes forward a, a shoulder charge, dealing more damage and having greater knockback compared to Bowser's move. The up special, we have Blizzard Leap. Midbus leaps upward, leaving a trail of icy particles that can freeze opponents who, who come into contact with it. And for the down special, we have Frozen Slam. Midbus slams the ground with icy force, creating a shockwave of ice shards that spread outwards, dealing damage and potentially freezing opponents. And finally, for the stage, I went with Four Falls Theater from Mario and Luigi Bowser's Inside Story. The stage transitions between set pieces such as a mechanical background, a hypnotic swirl, and a dark energy infused environment. Hazards include random energy orbs across the stage and platforms that shift and change shape. So guys, what did you think of Fawful from Mario and Luigi Bowser's Inside Story. I will do more new foes appeared very soon. It's just the amount of videos I have to work on right now, it's probably gonna take a while. Given that I've already recorded my review for Borderlands, it was a terrible movie, and I'm gonna start writing my review for Concord very soon, and I'm hoping to get a new foes appeared 114 out for next week. So, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like this video, and turn your notification bell on so you don't miss another New Foes Appeared episode like this one. And I will see you all in a future video. BB8, out.